Latest Changes, Announced for UK Student Visa. Part 2. Today's video update is the second part of the video regarding the changes announced in the UK Student Visa. If you haven't watched the first part, please click the link mentioned below in the comments and description box. Let's begin the video and talk about the changes in Appendix Short Term Student, which is effective from the 6th of April 2022. A technical modification is to be made to simplify that a course has to be at least six months long and less than 12 months. The UK uh, points based our immigration system. Ending free movement. The change is coming. The change is, the change com is coming. The change is coming. Lastly, let's talk about the changes in Appendix Graduate, which is effective from the 6th of April 2022. Please keep in mind that there were three amendments in Appendix Graduate. Travel document. Graduate applicants were required to submit a passport or other travel credentials to satisfactorily establish their identity and nationality. The policies shall be updated to permit an applicant to submit a non-travel document that is, a biometric residence permit, as proof of identity and nationality. Student permission. The study in the UK obligation has been changed to make sure it precisely reveals the policy intention that a student is anticipated to hold student permission for the relevant period of time, rather than just be undertaking study for a relevant period. COVID-19 concessions. In light of the COVID-19 concessions, Allowances for distance learning have been prolonged to the 6th of April 2022. Students will not be prohibited from being entitled for the graduate route if they commenced remote learning between the 21st of June 2021 and the 6th of April 2022. Please keep in mind that this UK immigration update is for informational purposes only and is not alternate for legal or scenario specific guidance. Additionally, it is important to note that immigration statements are subject to unexpected and unanticipated modifications. Viewers are urged to reach out to speak to an experienced immigration solicitor or advisor for better guidance. Our video ends here. If you found this video update useful then please comment below and share your opinion with us by commenting below. Thanks for watching.